electronic form. The next issue is with regard to deployment of central paramilitary forces. It has been stated by the State Election Commission that meeting on assessment of deployment of forces was taken by the Commission on 9623 with the Chief Secretary of the State and the Director General of Police and an assessment plan by the state will be submitted in due course, which will be reviewed by the commission for taking appropriate decision. The petitioner's contention is that to instill confidence in the electorate to ensure that fair and transparent election without any violence takes place Ah, sorry. Before violence takes place, can be achieved only by deployment of central paramilitary forces. The petitioner in WPA 287 of 23 would state that prior to the election of uh, Kolkata to the Kolkata Municipal Corporation during 2021 and municipal election conducted in 2020, the state had witnessed large-scale violence which has resulted in various deaths as well. In this regard, the petition has relied upon the various press reports which were reported in leading dailies during February 2022, highlighting the violence which has occurred during the said elections. It is pointed out that the State Election Commission during the elections for Kolkata Municipal Corporation declared 1,339 polling centers to be sensitive out of the total polling centers of 4949. Reference was also made to the judgment of the 5 judge bench of this court in WP number so-and-so, which dealt with the post-poll violence after the assembly election in the state in the year 2021. After taking note of all the above facts and circumstances, the larger bench referred the matter to CBI for investigation wherever allegations are about murder of a person and crime against women and various directions were issued. The petitioner has also referred to various orders passed by the, this court from August 2022 till May 2023, where the court had directed the central agencies to investigate into the acts of criminal violence, explosions, bomb blasts, and violence during festival seasons, during religious festivals, and as such, 10 such orders were referred to. The decision of the division bench in WPA 272 of 2021 was also referred to, which concerned the municipal elections wherein the court observed the election commission is vested with the responsibilities to ensure free and fair, fearless election, to assess the ground situation, take a decision in the manner, etc., etc. In the light of the same, it was observed. The election commission, along with the state authorities, is required to be appraised of the ground situation prevailing in Bidan Nagar. Uh, that issue we have referred. Then we have said, this court also had an occasion to consider the situation which had arisen during Hanuman, the Hanuman Jayanti festival and after assigning reasons, directions were issued to requisition the assistance of the paramilitary forces which order and direction was complied with, with by the state. It is not in dispute that a preliminary assessment has already been made by the State Election Commission and several districts have been earmarked as sensitive districts. It has been widely reported in the press that there have been several instances where prospective candidates complained about non-availability of nomination papers, which resulted in violence being precipitated and such other incident. Considering the fact that the total number of seats for which the election has to be conducted is more than 7,500 and going by the past incidents, wherein more, on more than 12 occasions, the court had to intervene for the directing deployment of central forces or transferring the case to the National Investigation Agency. We are of the view that the State Election Commission should and shall requisition the deployment of central forces to work in tandem with the police force of the state of West Bengal to ensure free and fair elections. It is stated in the report that the assessment plan submitted by the state will be reviewed by the election commission to take appropriate decision. The ultimate decision should lie with the state election commission, more particularly when it has been the consistent submission of the petitioner that there is inadequacy for in police force yes. to be deployed throughout the state 
so as to cover all polling stations, especially when the number of seats for which elections are to be held are more than 75,000. Therefore, the State Election Commission shall forthwith requisition of deployment of the Central Forces at the first, first instance for all the areas and districts which, in the opinion of the State Election Commission, have been declared as sensitive. Thereafter, the State Election Commission shall review the assessment plan submitted by the state and wherever there is inadequacy of state police force in all such areas, the State Election Commission shall requisition the deployment of paramilitary forces. This requisition shall be done forthwith by the State Election Commission and on receipt of the same, the appropriate authority of the central government shall deploy the required strength without loss of time. Considering the facts and circumstances, we are of the view that the charges towards such deployment shall be borne by the central government and no part of it shall be charged to the state of West Bengal.